Hi traders, we have some new leaks from El Chico Eevee and official results of the top Pokemon picked in Pokemon Unite for 2022 and more. First, let's jump into the leaks. So, El Chico Eevee has shared some new details about the next patch that is set to take effect on the 31st of January. For the question of the day, what Pokemon nerf or buff do you want to see in Pokemon Unite? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, these are just leaks and nothing is official until officially announced by Pokemon Unite themselves. So please do take with a grain of salt. Let's jump right into it. We will be getting nerfs on Red Ashifu. So Red Ashifu is currently pretty broken, extremely strong. So this is good that they're making changes to it. Scyther, another Pokemon who is incredibly broken as well. I am... Uh, unfortunately have gone against a lot of scythers who just ruin my games like like i just die a lot <laughs> it's pretty good to see that they're already targeting pokemon who are just dominating games at the moment mr mime not as broken as it used to be but they are applying more nerfs to it i actually do not have a huge issue with mr mime at the moment so i'm wondering what changes they're going to do here i feel like it's not as dominating at all and it just feels like it's at a decent spot personally like still really strong but in a better spot and not like, you know, hair ripping out kind of spot kind of thing. But I'd love to hear your opinions on this. Sableye, who was probably the Pokemon that is the most complained about at the moment. Sableye did get a nerf in the last patch, but obviously it is not enough. So they will be nerfing it furthermore. Right now, I feel that we are in like a Sableye meta. So I'm wondering if this patch will get us out of that. And we will then see what kind of meta we will be jumping into next. I'd love to know in the comments down below how you would change Sableye as well. And then the last change we have is a buff to Blue Ashifu. Blue Ashifu definitely not doing as well as Red Ashifu. It's struggling for sure and it was very much needed curious to see if blue ashifu will rise while the red one will fall or if they'll make it into like a balanced spot between the two but usually with a lot of pokemon it tends to lean onto one move set over the other not for all of them but for a lot of them moving on to the next bit of interesting news pokemon unite has officially shared the top picks from players for the entire roster in 2022 these three Pokemon are the most picked Pokemon of 2022. I'm both surprised, but also not surprised. It's pretty interesting. For a bonus question, who are your top picks right now in Pokemon Unite? In third place, we have Charizard. In second place, we have Greninja. And in first place, we have Pikachu. <laughs> so what is not surprising about this is that generally these Pokemon are just the most popular with fans all over the world for Pokemon. Greninja was the most popular Pokemon back in 2021. Or like in 2022 for the official Pokemon poll. Charizard is just really popular with fans. And you know it's also one of my favorite starters. So I totally get it. And also shiny Charizard just looks so cool. Pikachu is the face of Pokemon. The mascot. It makes sense it was chosen a lot. These Pokemon are also not super hard to use at all. Very beginner friendly. But it is crazy to see in numbers how many times they were picked up. What is also important to note too is that Pikachu, Charizard and Greninja are all Pokemon you can get for free as a newer player. So that probably does throw off the statistic as well. What does surprise me though is that in my little YouTube Twitter bubble, players don't often talk about these Pokemon. We have all came together against the Charizard nurse before and we may have memed a little bit with Greninja, but generally these Pokemon are a bit out of my radar. Pokemon Unite has also shared the 18 new Pokemon to join the roster in Pokemon Unite in 2022. It's good to look back at 2022 with all these memories, each one carrying their own little release meta and seeing what changed and what hasn't changed. I would say the most impactful to the meta in 2022 on the actual release day is Mew, Tyranitar, Hoopa, and Darulodon. I remember these being like really insane when they first came out. The others became more impactful after some changes or over time, but these Pokemon pretty much right on release made such a huge ripple effect for the meta. It was pretty crazy. So have you guys seen that new Venusaur build that has been crazy? It's been used in the Pro League. It deals 100k damage. It's very high damage. It's insane. It's doing so well. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like when Venusaur was really overpowered with its like pedal dance. If you haven't seen that video yet, it'll be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!